Hello, beautiful family. How are we doing? I've had two classes this week that I've taught yoga, um, 30 teenage girls, basically year 10 girls. The first Tuesday it was, there was one girl within the class who just kept laughing and egging all the other kids on, being childish, being very ignorant and disturbing everybody else who was actually trying to do the right thing. So I shamanic drum and I take my drum and as she's laughing, I'm drumming harder and harder and harder and harder and harder and harder. So I'm blocking out all of her ignorance. And it was just a beautiful message for me to come back to the heart center and to not lose control, to not be angry. Yeah, be a little bit frustrated because it was just so fucking rude. But at the same time, be so freaking proud of myself for just letting it pass by and not letting it consume my mind. Today, I taught another class of another about 30 teenage girls in year 10. And I ended up getting rid of a whole back row of girls. So disrespectful. The whole class just wanted to hear, listen, do. They wanted to chill. They wanted to stretch. They wanted to do what I was there for them to give them. And this whole line of girls, they would just keep being angry. So I got my jam, I got my jam, I got my jam. And then I went over to them with the magic of my medicine drum and me, my strength and my beautiful soul says, go. If you're not here to be part of this beautiful family unit, ping off and go outside. So they did. And we enjoyed the rest of our class. There's no need for ignorance. There's no need for irrationality or nastiness if you're in a situation where you don't want to be go leave don't let somebody or people tear you down don't make them feel anything less than what you are you are absolutely amazing you are spectacular don't let anybody else tell you otherwise Nobody can be you. They cannot be anybody else but themselves. So it's a recognition of themselves. It's a mirroring 